Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is truly a great honor for me to have been invited by our chairman, uh, Shamsha Prakash, to chair this legacy session commemorating the great contributions of our late friend and colleague, Ralph Peck. Perhaps no one has had a greater influence uh, on what we do when it comes to case histories than did Ralph. And uh, it's quite fitting then that this particular session be held and the speakers be from this large group of folks who owe so much to what he taught them as students, as friends, as colleagues, and in one case, even as a member of the family. Our program is very, very full. And so I think my main job may be to keep everybody on schedule. I hope I don't have to be too much of an enforcer. Actually, I've delegated that to the co-chairman of the session, uh, Ed Idris, who's down there at the end. Listed on this slide uh, are the six speakers who will be talking from a very, very personal standpoint of the things that Ralph did and what he meant to them and how they learned and so on. And given the shortness of time, I'm not going to spend much time at all on introducing these people. I think you know them all uh, and where they're from and what they do. They are, however, um, Shamsher, who will speak from the heart I know, Ralph's daughter, Nancy, Peck Young, Riza Mesri from the University of Illinois, a professor there, the Ralph Peck Professor in the Civil Engineering Department at the University of Illinois, Ed Cording, an emeritus faculty member from uh, the University of Illinois, well known and much admired for his many contributions in underground construction and tunneling. Elmo Di Baggio, a former student, student of Ralph's who's been at the Norwegian Geotechnical Institute for many, many years, particularly noteworthy contributions in instrumentation, ground measurements, and what they mean and how to use them. Um, and Dave Rogers, who has a sort of a man of all seasons, done so many interesting, exciting things, and was very, very uh, close to Ralph Peck in terms of meeting with him to gather information about his uh, history and the things that he worked on over the years. Uh, Dave is now uh, a faculty member at uh, Missouri uh, University of Science and Technology. And as I used to tell my students, if you don't believe what I say, read my book. Uh, in this case, I will say, if you want more information about each of our distinguished speakers, read this book, which is in your conference proceedings. There is biographical information about all of today's speakers, and it will give you a much greater insight into who they are, what they're all about, and what their associations have been with Ralph Peck. So by means of that, uh, I'm formally opening this session. This is a picture, a photograph of Ralph Peck, who was accepting the first ASCE Outstanding Project and Leaders, the Opal Award in engineering uh, education, civil engineering education, in 2001. And I know that that award meant a great deal to Ralph Peck. And the only other slide I have is this one, uh, which shows you the cover of the book that um, uh, was put together by Ralph with uh, Nancy's uh, input and John Dunnycliffe uh, worked on it as well. It's published in 2006 and I, I very much recommend this book uh, to your uh, attention. Uh, very, very interesting. Lots of little gems in there all through it. You really get to know the man when you look at this book. It's a marvelous contribution. Okay, well, with that set said, let me uh, introduce Shamsha Prakash, who's going to be the first of our speakers. And uh, let's sit back, enjoy, learn, and appreciate the man who we are today.